Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Junkyard Hack. Now today, uh, we're taking a little bit of a detour from the Galaxy and the Biscayne and the Comet, and we're working on the uh, 78 Ford F-150 pickup truck that I bought in North Carolina a couple years back. As it turns out, uh, the tags are up in this truck in March, and I gotta get it through inspection because it's not tagged antique, so uh, it's gotta pass inspection. and couple uh, failure points would be, uh, or one of the failure points I should say would be, the exhaust uh, manifold had a bad leak out of the exhaust manifold, namely the donut gasket. Um, and it, not just simply a replacement of the donut gasket and, you know, go on, on your way. The studs that were coming out of there are uh, rusted out, stripped out, and um, there's no way to repair them or remove them or anything like that. They're frozen dead into the exhaust manifold. And to try to repair it from attached to the engine is uh, nearly impossible. If anybody's ever worked on these, anything like this knows that uh, once it's heated up and cooled, heated and cooled a number of years, 40 years or so, um, it's uh, a nightmare to work on if it's inside the vehicle. So. Try as I may, I tried to cobble it together numerous times. It would work for a couple months, and it would break down again. Um, but I decided to do it the right way, finally, and remove the manifold, which entails removing the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold, because they're, they're connected together um, from the truck. Now, uh, to my benefit, Somebody had already removed it at one point because I noticed a number of the uh, studs were new. So I was hoping that it wouldn't be too hard to remove because if this uh, unit had been attached to the uh, vehicle to the head um, and never removed, it also would have been frozen in and there's probably would have been a couple of bol uh, broken bolts that would have required removing the head possibly or, you know, getting in there and trying to tap out or extract out a bolt, which is no fun. So, but I was right, this was removed and all these bolts come out with relative ease and that was a blessing, believe me. If anybody knows about that, that was a, a real blessing. So uh, yesterday I spent all day pretty much playing around removing the intake and exhaust manifold saving the bolts i saved them all to a coffee can um, and i noticed that they're all different sizes and whatnot it looked like they uh, used part of a doorman kit to put the new studs and they what they used was brass nuts which i like so i went and got the same repair kit they got gotten at autozone and i got a set of these um with the same size uh studs and they also have these brass nuts in there and lock watches and what have you. So I got two packs of those. And I want to use all of those if I can. I'm going to put all those on there. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. The other bolts are a lot of them are rusty and what have you. They're good threads. They're, they're, they probably could be reused, but I'm not going to. Now, one of the things I like to do is when I remove a part is to clean it up and paint it. And I had these, this is the exhaust manifold and uh, intake manifold, as you see, it's where the carburetor goes. And um, I had this unit apart, and man, this thing is heavy together, cast iron. But anyway, I had it apart, cleaned them both up, and got some high temp paint, like, I don't know, some odd thousand degree paint, and painted it up. And that was an exercise in futility because as soon as I started handling it with greasy hands, it, it, it chipped it and got gasket sealing all over it and everything like that. But it, it's whatever. It looks better than it did before. And uh, if anybody's wondering why I use white, because white was the only thing I had. So um, this stuff's expensive and it's better. It looks better than it did before. So it'll probably burn off and <laughs> the first uh, half an hour at least. So, But what I had to do was uh, there's two bolts on this side here. You see right here that go into the uh, intake manifold and actually thread into the exhaust manifold. Well, 
one of them was missing and one of them was hanging on by basically a thread. And there's one bolt here that goes down into the, uh, from the exhaust manifold threads into the intake manifold. So I took, tried to take this one out and I wound up breaking it. And so I tried to extract it, I couldn't extract it. And I, previous times I tried to extract things that gave me a pain. I, you know, I didn't drill them out enough. I uh, wind up breaking the extractor, so I didn't want to do that. So I drilled out a big enough hole in the in the bolt, re-threaded it to five sixteenths, five sixteenths, eighteen pitch thread, something like that. Anyway, I threaded it with whatever tap I had, which was five sixteenths, sixteen thread. Got a corresponding bolt that I had laying around. It was a little too long, so I had to use a few washers. The hack way, it's the way you do it. Anyway, it's in there, better than it was before because it was missing uh, a bolt, and this bolt was hanging on by a thread as was the other one. So you've got three bolts holding the unit together, and I have um, these. Uh, let me show you here real quick. These um, studs that also go into the side. The head also fit, I should focus my camera better, they also fit here. So we're going to use these guys. I got plenty of these guys, getting two packs of them. Plus I got a bunch that came out of the truck that are still good. One was bad. It was bent, so I'm going to replace that one. And uh, that one there, is, the thread's a little bit goofy, but we'll clean her up. Probably paint or something like that anyway. Yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go. Threads right in there. So we're gonna use those and the brass nuts that come with them. And I'm gonna put some, this is important here when you're doing this kind of work. This is your, this is gonna be your savior. If you ever have to do this again. See this right here? Get some. See the big uh, container I got? That's why I got it because I use this stuff. I, I swear by that anti-seize compound. Um, Anyway, took the unit out, cleaned it out, or took the uh, intake exhaust out, cleaned them up, uh, scraped them down to accept the new gasket. Um, now, if you notice the duct tape on the side there, it's because I didn't want anything falling in there by mistake because I'm a klutz, and if there's ever something that would happen, it would happen. That's what would happen. It would fall in there. Um, so, just... As a double measure, got a big old uh, thing of duct tape. It barely sticks, but it, it's good and good enough just to cover those holes until I get that um, unit on there. And uh, there's that. So um, this is a job probably it would take a mechanic about an hour to do, but because I'm a hack and I am not, I'm a novice at best. It took me. It's taken me two days. Not only that, but I like to take a lot of breaks. So. Um, I'm sure Derek or one of the other guys or, uh, Freiburger and Finnegan would have it done in, you know, half an hour on the side of the road without any, without even, you know, breathing hard. But I'm an old guy. I like to take breaks and I'm lazy. So it takes me two days to do it. But anyway, I'm getting it done and, uh, there's that. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put anti-seize on the studs put the studs on some studs on the bottom and uh, when I go to lay this in there I'm going to lay it on the studs on the bottom and then uh, work some studs in the, on the top to uh, get it um, get it all in there so uh, we're going to work it in keep all the bolts loosened up until we get it all situated and then tighten her up so anyway let me get out of here because I'm running out of space on my phone and uh, next video I do it's going to be all together and uh starting up and nice and quiet hopefully so anyway have a good day peace out take care